So today I want to test out uh, the difference between a wing pour and a waterfall ring pour. Are they the same or are they different? They kind of look the same to me, but we're gonna test it. Hey everybody. So today I'm going to use the three in one cup again to test this theory. You know how I fill them and I'm folding over. It's going pretty fast, but I'm folding over the pour. And as I put more paints on the sides, of course it, it expands the pour, but it's keeping the rings or the lines for the feathers. So this is a wing pour when you fold it over. Now for the second pour, I'm preparing for a wing pour. I'm using this flat side of the cup instead of the spout. The flat part allows me to fold over. So now I freeze frame so you can see this is an actual wing pour. But however, with me putting the paints on the side that's gonna draw the weight of everything to the sides, and manipulating it over, this turns into a waterfall or cascading pour. skating feather it's still a part of a wing pour but it looks more like a cascade of feathers to me doubt that this is a wing pour. You see the wings and feathers or it's one wing just feathers cascading over so it's a wing pour. So for this one, I am intentionally using the spout to see the difference. It's still showing cascading, it's showing waterfall, and it's showing the lines. So I manipulate it to just make it look like a beautiful waterfall.
guess I can say using the spout will create your waterfall ring, the cascading, and using the side of the cup will cause or help you to fold over and make the wings. You can tell me what you think in the, in the comments below. All in all, I enjoy using this three-in-one cup. It works for me. Thanks for joining me, watching me try out the three-in-one cup in different aspects. If you haven't subscribed already, please do so and click the notification button for updates on new videos and hit the like and please comment. I want to hear from you. See you next time.